Hey. All right. So we got something special going on today. Yesterday, you had an opportunity to win your way to be here where we are in this now, it's been disclosed, location of the Stanley Steamer sta- uh, Soundstage, where uh, we've got some listeners here. Everybody, what's up, hey! man? And thank, thank you guys. guys for coming last minute. We know we told you yesterday. We called you last night, let you know where the location was. Thank you guys for coming through. For a private holiday party. Right along with two of the greatest. Mm-hmm. All right, so please put your hands together. The one, I mean, uh, you know, not, not the just two. one, the two and all. <laughs> we got not only Kevin Hart, but the one and only Ice Cube. Okay, <laughs> all Ice Cube in the building. Woo woo! All right. Are you guys doing? Yeah, right. Either one. Okay. Don't push me. You gotta watch. You gotta watch out for SD. How y'all doing? <laughs> yeah. Hello, 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 everybody. Kevin, Kevin got uh, a hangover, so I do not. don't what talk too loud. What are you talking loud. about? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm excited to be here in Orlando right now. Do we sit down? Yes, we, we do. Sit down. <laughs> I just didn't know where to go. I thought we're maybe doing like we the night show thing. We can't okay. sit down before yeah. the guests. You know, I was like, just let us sit down. <laughs> well, oh, thank hey. you guys so much for coming. Yeah, she's been so excited to she's see you. So adorable. They all won the opportunity to meet you guys here in this personal holiday party. So oh, everyone's really excited. They sweet. tried, called and called and called and got through. Well, this is a big deal. Kevin you bought guys. everybody <laughs> gifts. <laughs> Kevin, let them know what you bought them. You bought everybody gifts. No, oh. no. What I, what I bought you guys was an opportunity to meet Ice Cube and get Ice <laughs> yes! Cube. Yes! Yeah. That's Better than any gifts. Guys. That's what I got you guys, man. Man, well, we, we appreciate you guys. We appreciate you guys so much for your talents. For, we got to start with Cube, though, because, I mean, this guy's a legend, right? I, legend, I understand legend. that. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I think you should we, start with Cube. So, we, I'm so, we'll, we'll, we'll get to you. No hard feelings, no, no, man. We'll get to you, you start with Cube. Hey, hey, we'll get to you, man. Kick I back. Like, I don't like your attitude. I Kick back. Feel. I don't like your attitude. This I guess morning. it's good that I'm sitting in the middle because I was going to leave you guys next to each other. I said, no, it's we need okay. to split them yeah, up. Yeah, you need to split us up, man. <laughs> So we were talking me. earlier. I mean, could you have ever imagined when you were sporting the the, the, the curls, the as Jerry a teen, curl? You can say it as a teen <laughs> with Dre. Could you have now, ever what, what imagined the Jerry that you curl got to do with it, man? <laughs> I hear a slight clown in there, man. No, uh-huh. no. I'm I'm giving the history though. Okay. When you All were right. a teen, yes. When you were, te- could you have ever imagined where you are now? I mean, I, I mean, you and Dre. I mean, all you guys, like. Nah, not at all. You know, we just wanted to do. You know, good music at the time. You know, I was just trying to be the best rapper in the world, you know, at the mm-hmm. time. And uh, it snowballed into a great career. You know, I'm, I'm extremely excited today because I just learned that N.W.A. was inducted into the Rock yes. and Roll wow. Hall. Wow. Yes. Yes. Give it up. You know what I'm I was just Give reading that. Makes sense. Which is off now it makes the sense. chain. <laughs> now it what makes ma- sense. What you talking about? What he's makes sense? All morning, he's been, he's been different. I'm like, what is your deal? <laughs> All morning you had like a little edge and a little chip little to you, and this is why you yeah, be giving exactly. me Hall of Fame attitude. Oh, I'm all giving morning. you Hall of Fame attitude. All that fast you change. Now kick back, man. That, so I can that? finish my interview. It, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> what were you saying? I'm gonna respect my Hall of Famer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add something in there too. Deal. I'm gonna add something in there too. Google announced the top most searched things for 2015, and uh, Straight Out of Compton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, made that. And list. I want to thank everybody who. Love straight out of Compton. You know, it was a great accomplishment. You know what I mean? And uh, we really, really, really are over the moon over mm-hmm. everything that's happened to NWA this year. I know Easy is wherever he is, happy, smiling. Yeah. Celebrating. And, you know, that's what it's all about. But now we're here for Ride Along yeah. too. Yes. yes. You yes. know what I mean? I got my man Kevin Hart in the building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hart. Yeah. 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 No, nah, man. It ain't how it go, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's like, that's how he says it. He that goes, yeah, yeah. No, it's yeah. no, that's, that's nowhere yeah, near that. new thing now. No, no, that's how Cube says it. People so won't. weak. Yeah. Well, we had yeah, some yeah. of our listeners here that actually got to see the premiere last night. What did y'all think? What did you guys think of it? Oh, Honestly, so, so just those pro- listeners. No, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few listeners here. Like, <laughs> we had some of my listeners. I expect Not everybody everybody's like, yeah. shouting. We asked them to people. be honest with us. And you know, before y'all got here, they're going to be honest with us. Like, yes. yo, we're, they said it was actually better than the first one. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 That's yeah. what I'm talking so about. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. And yeah. after this, we're selling the bootleg because it's already out. It's already so, out right <laughs> now. <laughs> it wouldn't He's just losing me. points. You're done. It would not surprise me. He got on his Chuck Taylors. I give him some It wouldn't surprise me. You got to remember. I've, I did Soul Plane, so I've seen a bootleg. <laughs> I've seen a, before I've you finished the movie, you've seen the bootleg. Yeah, like, we didn't even plane. finish it yet. He, that he bootleg was, was out scene. two months before the movie, so <laughs> yeah. I, I've seen it happen, so yeah. it wouldn't surprise me. Oh You're freaking gosh. in high demand. Like, what, yes. like, 
your list, going down your IMDb, for those of you who know, that's the, the, the acting thing, like the, the amount of projects that you guys have. But, I mean, for right now, dude, you're the it. You're the it factor. I am, I am blessed, for man. I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate. Uh, I love to work, and I'm, I'm happy uh, to have people to want to work with me. Uh, mm -hmm. More importantly, I've been blessed and fortunate enough to work with amazing talent, and, 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 and we've, we've done things and, and done it in multiples, and people don't know I've been in the circle. That circle is Tim Story, Will Packer. I've done a lot of things with them. So Cuba, myself, like you said, we're on, we're on Ride Along Part 2 now, but these things don't happen. You don't, you don't get franchises. You don't get the opportunity to do Part 2s in the entertainment business. So the fact that I'm lucky enough to, to do that, it, it makes me... It makes me smile. It makes me smile because I'm loving what I'm doing. I'm happy. And, uh, you know, I, it doesn't have to be this way. So I don't take it for granted at all. And that's why I'm so loyal and, and uh, I guess you could say, devoted to my fan base. Well, it shows, you, you know, as well, you fans, it shows that you guys actually enjoy your craft. You enjoy what you're doing. And yeah. as fans, we like to see that. We don't like to see somebody big-headed. You know, you don't like to support nothing like well, that. But when you guys you know come what? and do things Q's like gonna this. going to change. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. <laughs> Hall of Fame. I, I hope he stays the same. He was cool yesterday, but... This Ever since his Hall of Fame <laughs> stuff, he's he's gotten a little different. So I don't well, know. Well, and you and you said that you love to work, but you know we follow you on Instagram and mm -hmm. you're super interactive on there. But you take a lot of time out for your own life and your personal life. So how do you find that balance? Because I think that is hard being so in demand. Well, you prioritize. You know, you got to understand what's important. And like I said, I am devoted to my fan base, but nothing so supersedes my kids. You know, my kids are number one. Uh, Heaven and Hendrix, I do it all for them. So if I don't Aww. give them time, then then that means I'm not doing it right. You know, I'm doing this to show them certain things, to give them the life that I didn't have. And I'm, I'm lucky enough to be able to, to do that. And, you know, uh, I think with examples, you know, Cube is a guy that's in my life. But, you know, regardless of what he's doing as a father, the man, you guys don't see that. You know, he doesn't put that on social media. I do. I get to see it firsthand. He's an amazing dad. So that's an example for me for what I should do, what I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? As awesome. I grow older in the business, you know, how to make sure that the business doesn't take away from the person. And, you know, this is a prime example of a guy who's been in it for 20 plus years and yep. he has maintained Absolutely. A, a level here. I, so. And that's got to be cool. You, yeah, you know, yeah. speaking that's of insane. kids, man, that's got to be cool. You had your son playing. You know, and straight out of Compton, man, that, that's got to be amazing. Yeah, man, you know, it's like a dream come true. You know, I, I, I kind of equate it to, to uh, you know, watching your son win the Super Bowl, you know, for the same team you won the Super Bowl that's with. Cool, so man, it's, it's real cool wow. to see him really, really, you know, shine in that role. And, uh, you know, the dude's a movie star without a doubt. And, uh, you know, we just taking this ride, you know, straight out of Compton is getting a lot of award buzz which is, you know, great to be able to take a victory lap on a movie like that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're just excited. You know, we got this new project. Me and Kevin Hart, we really put our foot in it. You know what I mean? Some people say it's better than the first. Oh, yeah. And um, that's what we aim to do. Out. You know, we, we want to, you know, go bigger, better. We think Ride Along 2 is bigger and better. And uh, we're excited to be here. You know, Orlando really showed out for us and showed up. And, uh, you know, we're excited. That's what awesome, Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Here we are. We're about a week away from Christmas. And for those who celebrate, you know, what what are the holidays looking like for you guys? And we could start with Q. But so what are the holidays going to be? Because you guys on tour and you're talking about your new movie, obviously, right along, too. So that's but there's the a lot going the on in there. The tradition, that mm -hmm. Christmas tradition, that morning. That uh, just kicking back with the fam, you know what I mean, watching them. You know what I mean? Open up stuff and hang out and, Aww. you know, my wife cooking breakfast, you know what I mean, for everybody. And, you know, it's just a good time just to be with your family. Uh, we don't like to do a whole lot because I do a lot of traveling and all this stuff. So I like to just kick back and, uh, you know, watch good basketball. You know, good basketball games come on on Christmas. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, just keep it simple. Keep it simple. Less is more. It's more about being with the ones you love. With that being said, 
we're going to, uh, we're, we're traveling. We're, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to do it up big. Let's hear about these travel plans. But there's no, FaceTime. No. There's FaceTime. My, you know, we, we stay in Los Angeles, so my kids are big on snow. They wanted a, a white Christmas. They wanted snow. So we're going to go to Aspen, and we're going to, you know, we're going to do some some snow activities for the holidays. So I can't wait. Man, it's you bad going out there though. to smoke weed, man. I know no, Colorado. No, no, that is Colorado not, got that, that ridiculous. New law. I don't know he what that see, means. Send the kids over that here. Is, that is Me and ridiculous. mama gonna go over in the bathroom. I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> and your mama be in the bathroom. This is ridiculous. I don't know what that sense. that's ridiculous. All right. <laughs> okay, okay, so so I, I hate to be the guy who brings up the New Year's resolutions, but with twenty sixteen what are you expected to happen? What What are you expecting to happen? Ride along two is going to open with a bang. Uh, we believe that. We believe that. <laughs> that's number all. One. That's all I'm expecting. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> number one. What else is happening next year? I don't, I don't think. Know. I don't think nothing else is happening in 2016. <laughs> that's it. You just shut down. Except the opening of Ride Along Two on January 15th. <laughs> After that, I think it goes to 2017. Yeah. I don't really. <laughs> right away. There's nothing else that's going on. Uh, no, man. You know what? It's a, it's a new year, so a new year means new things. You know, a lot of people. Like to set these uh, these these resolutions, you know. A lot of people they do the things that rhyme, you know. 2016 gonna be mine. They do all this stuff. That I'm didn't not, rhyme. Well, I, I just, <laughs> he, he, I the started, bars. I thought you had started, bars there. I started to do when it rhymed, but I realized it was old, like two, <laughs> 2007. I'm going to heaven, but I was like, it doesn't. Uh, no, but what I'll say is, you know, I'm a firm believer in your actions. Speak a lot louder than your words. So those people that do set goals for themselves, keep them quiet. Keep them to yourselves. You know, just execute. And after you execute, tell people what you wanted to do. That's yeah. the best way I to do it. I always feel like, you know, I'm just trying to be better than I was in 2015. You know, that's about all I can yeah. ask myself. Yourself, you know what I mean? Before you made it to be the Hall of Fame. <laughs> oh. hey, look, man. <laughs> it's going to be hard, hard to top 2015, to but top that. we'll do it. Well, thank you guys so much. Again, we have Ice Cube and Kevin Hart here with us at Power 95.3 in the Stanley Steamer Soundstage, and we're looking forward to Ride Along 2 out January 15th. Woo! Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yeah. Kevin Hart, Ice Cube! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We no. all need to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that's how you say it. That wasn't yeah. even Show that Kevin yet. how to do it. It's One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's you. what I'm saying. I'm saying... Yeah, yeah. That's no. what I'm oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thanks for we having appreciate us. Appreciate you, man. Orlando. Man, January 15th, ride along too. Come yeah, check us yeah, out. Indeed. Thank you guys appreciate so much. Appreciate you guys, man. And continued success to you guys for real. Word up.